Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Deanna. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last post, my last video. Uh, so much has been going on, things are kind of crazy around here um, in a good way, but we've moved house, um, we're still settling into our new place, and we found out that we're expecting our first baby in July, so we're really excited. Um, my due date is July 4th, <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Um, I just went with my husband on our first vacation, really, since our honeymoon. Let's see. I don't remember how many years ago that was. I think it was 2012, so six years ago when we went to Scotland. So it's it's been a really long time since we've been on a plane together. Um, and we went to New York City for our baby moon, um, which is kind of silly way of saying baby honeymoon, like a, the final trip before the baby. But we really just wanted to do something fun um, and get away. And my husband has never been to the city. So I thought it would be fun. Um, we took kind of a long weekend and just went up there. And when I was up there, of course I had to go to Louis Vuitton. So we went to, um, let's see, I'll tell you the exact, the exact one we went to. It's the Louis Vuitton Brookfield Place on Liberty Street in New York, New York. And I picked up a couple of goodies and I had to share them with you guys and I'm really excited. Um, I took a little bit of, I took some pictures, which you'll see in the thumbnail. I actually took those pictures, or that picture, when we were still in the hotel in, um, New York. But now that we're home, I wanted, I, I thought about filming it when I was there, but there was just so much going on that I was like, I want to wait till I get home and get settled in, and then we moved unexpectedly, so... I'm sorry, things are kind of crazy, but if you want to see everything that's going on and be up to date, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll put my handle up here somewhere and keep it up there for you guys so you can check on um, Instagram and stay up to date with me. I'm going to try and be better about posting on there and getting more regular with my content for you guys. Um, some of the nesting is becoming real for me over here, so I'm looking forward to being in a better place better location. It's also a lot more quiet that we're in a house instead of an apartment. So I'll be able to film a little bit more for you guys. So I'm really excited. Um, make sure you're following me there on Instagram. So um, this is your hint. I got a couple of these little boxes. So I went with some SLGs this time. I'm really happy with the bags that I have. I am considering getting a mommy bag. Um, in one of my last videos, I did have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the Damier Bin canvas. I think I had the GM size and it was just, I felt like it was too big for me and I ended up exchanging it for the Speedy Bandolier in the size 30. And I've really been loving that bag. So I'm not sure if that will be my mommy bag or if I want to go back to a Neverfull, but maybe an MM instead of a GM. I'm just not really sure. I'm still, I'm still thinking. I still have some time. But um, the two items, one of the first items that I got, it actually has a little bit of a story behind it. It is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the monogram canvas. And this piece was made in France. So here it is up close. Mm. Really, really beautiful. I'm so excited that I was able to get my hands on this in the monogram. Um, I know this has been sold out online, call for availability is the status that it has been. Um, and I picked this up when I got to New York. We were staying right near the Macy's at Herald Square and they didn't have one there. So I started calling, I called the 1-800 number for Louis Vuitton and, and basically asked them to kind of search for me, excuse me and tell me if they had it anywhere in the monogram canvas. And they had one left. Um, this particular Louis Vuitton essay I worked with was Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Um, and she is 
wonderful. And she told me that that location, the Brookfield place, gets shipments almost every day. So um, there, they get things more quickly than other places. So I was very fortunate to get this item when I did. Sorry about that. Um, it started to get dark here, so I just wanted to put the light on and hopefully you can see me better now. Um, but like I was saying, so with my mini pochette, I was calling around different Louis Vuittons in New York City to find out who had the monogram because I knew this was sold out online, it was hard to get, and I've been wanting this mini pochette for a really long time. And I saw a couple of people, um, pregnancy brain, pregnancy brain, I don't know your name. I'm going to put it here. I'm so sorry. I can't think my brain is mush. Okay. So I saw a couple of people on YouTube that, um, had reviewed this recently and talked about it. And I was like, that's it. I need it. I need to have this. This is my next piece. And most of my bags are in the Damier bin canvas. Um, and I have a zippy compact wallet in the Damier bin. And so um, I, wanted, I, I wanted the monogram and I really like the chain. I debated on whether to get the pochette accessoire, the, the bigger version of the pochette. And ultimately I decided to go with the mini pochette. My husband was with me and he was like, you're gonna get a lot more use out of this one. And I was just concerned because I have the iPhone 7 or the 8 Plus, I think it is, um, the jet black. So it's pretty big, that's my dog. Um, it's pretty big phone and it does not, it does not fit in the mini pochette. But I found that I just kind of carry them like this, you know, with the phone on the outside of the pochette. And when I'm going minimally out the door, which lately I, I am, um, this has been perfect. It fits everything that I need. Now let me show you the second thing I got because I use it in conjunction with this. And, hold on. You know it's not a video unless I have my coffee, okay? So the second thing I got came in this small box. So the mini pochette came in this bigger box. And I thought about this item for a long time before I decided to purchase it. I've been looking at it online. I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. I was really going back and forth. I'm not trying to torture you. I'm buying myself a minute because I can't remember the exact color. Okay, I wanted to get it right. So the next piece I got is the card holder. This is the Louis Vuitton card holder in monogram canvas with the fuchsia interior, a fuchsia lining. Um, it's pulling a little bit red on camera, but this is fuchsia. It's a very beautiful, um, kind of almost a mix between a red and a pink, or a burgundy and a, and a red, I would say. It's more of a burgundy. So you can really see the difference, okay? Here's my solo cup, and here's the fuchsia. So it's not, it's not like a cerise red. It is, in fact, cooler. So this is my second piece um, that I purchased in New York City. And I purchased this the same day. Just wanna get up close for you guys. The glazing around it is perfect. The stitching is phenomenal. And it is so awesome. So as you can see here, um, I'll go into detail on the mini pochette as well, but on the card holder, you've got one slot here. You've got this kind of um, accordion, or not accordion, but uh, kind of coin style opening here, and then a second card holder right on the other side. So in total, there are three card slots, but you can fit quite a bit in this middle portion here. So what I have been using it for is, let me show you, I've got my cards all right here. So my most used cards go here. So I've got a debit card and it'll fit just like this. Really, I can push it all the way down and you can't, 
hardly even see that it's there. But I like to have it kind of sticking up a little bit so that I know quickly, okay, that's my debit card or credit card. And then on the other side, I do the same thing where I stick it so that it's, it's still sticking up like this. And then in this middle portion, I'll typically put um, my license, my insurance card, and my car insurance. Now that's three cards, okay? And I will just kind of squeeze it and it opens. It's a little harder to squeeze open when you have cards. See how that kind of doesn't really want to go? But, you know, just be gentle and it'll fit. So then I can fit those three in there and it does not put any kind of pressure really on it at all. It's perfectly fine. It's not bowing out here in the middle. Plenty of room. Now sometimes I'll have some cash on me as well. Right now I've got like a wad of ones. Not too much, but I've got, let's see, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars, three fives. That's kind of thick. That's a little bit, you know, a little bit bulky. But I've found mm -hmm. that it works fine to put your cash in, in this middle section, fold it in half, it's not a big deal and it won't stretch it out too much. I wouldn't fold it four times. I like to see that I have cash anyways, but pushing it down in there, this is when it will start to show some of that wear, but not really. Now you can see this is with a bunch of wadded up cash and there are about eight bills. And it's still not looking deformed or anything like that. It's just kind of rounding out a little bit more. Now, if if you know, if that's what I have, that's what I have. I'm not going to if I know I'm going to want cash. Sometimes it's easy to just put it all in there. And I don't feel like it's stretching it so much that I'm scared to use it, if that makes sense. I feel like this is perfectly fine. Now, the way I've been packing my mini pochette is I keep it, you know, empty on the inside and I'm not using it, but I didn't give you a close up on this before, so I just want to show it to you real quick. Got the LV right there, made in France. Perfect all the way around. Got the little clasp, how beautiful and shiny. I love new shiny hardware. Okay, this is the side, perfect piping all the way around, or stitching rather, there's a seam. There, there is, it almost looks like piping. Let me have it, there you go. It looks like a piping here, but it's not glaze. It's just, it's just like a folded seam of the canvas, I think. There we go. Um, you've got the little authenticity tag right there with the date code. So this is how I pack my mini pochette. I take my card holder, put it in there. Still has plenty of room, right? Now, the next item that I always have with me are my, or is my uh, six key clay in the Damier bin. Now in here, I've got, I'm not, I don't have it full by any means, but I've got my car key and my house key. Um, I used to have an electronic fob, um, that fits in here as well. But right now it's just house and car. So um, I, what I like to do, cause I'm crazy like that. If I put it in with the seam side, like this part of the flap facing the outside of the uh, pochette, and then I close it up, I feel like I can see that. You see that seam right here, how it folds? On one side it's nice and flat and on this side it's a little bit creased. So what I do is I make sure that the flap is facing in to the pochette or into the card holder and then I kind of make sure they're positioned. There's a seam going down the middle and so I'll put my key holder on one side and the card holder on the other side of the seam to make sure that it's you know more whoop, to make sure that it's more evenly distributed, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then, 
Sometimes I'll throw in a lip gloss or a lip balm or something. Um, right now I don't have one right next to me, so. And then I just close it up. And now I don't know if you can tell, but it's not bowing out strangely now. It's perfectly even on both sides. And I'll grab it just like this, grab my phone, and I'm out the door. You know, sometimes I will wrap the strap around my wrist like this and go. Um, that's perfectly fine too. If I want to go hands free, sometimes my phone will go in my pocket and I'll just carry this like this. I can't even tell you how much I'm loving this combination. I really didn't think that I would. Um, I am a big kind of like the bigger the handbag, the better type of girl. And I definitely stuff my bag. Like if I had that GM, when I had the GM never full, it was full. So I didn't really think that I would enjoy this type of minimalist use, but I'm really, really loving this. I grab this all the time. This has become my go-to. I think just being pregnant, I'm, I'm t more tired and I don't have time for nonsense, if that makes any sense at all. Any moms out there or pregnant moms to be or just busy women in general and men, like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm leaning more towards like the simpler, the better. And so this is fitting perfectly with that mindset. So I'm really, really so happy with this purchase and I'm really thankful that it will forever remind me of um, our trip together to New York. I think it's really fun if you can afford to. For us, we factored that into our budget, you know, just being honest. I sold some items ahead of time so that I would have a little bit of spending money. And when we went to New York, I was like, look, I don't want to go on, you know, a lot of tours or, or things like that, but I do want to go to Louis Vuitton and this is how much I've saved and that's, that's what I want to do. You know, Chris had his things that he wanted to do and that was, that was how we did it. And so I'm now really thankful that I have these two pieces because whenever I look at them, I'm going to think of our trip to New York and it will remind me of that special time before the baby came. Um, that we were there together and I really think that if you're gonna spend a lot of money or really just any money, okay? If you work hard for it and you save it up and you wanna spend splurge, maybe this is a splurge, okay? Um, it's really nice to tie it to something significant. All of my pieces pretty much have a significance um, in my life. Like, you know, I got my Montaigne was a graduation present. Um, my Evora was like a birthday gift for like my 25th birthday or 22nd birthday, something like that. It was like a big, you know, milestone. And so it's really nice. It's a, it's a sweet way. Just like sometimes going somewhere and getting a fragrance is nice. It'll remind you of that time. Um, I'm not saying anytime you go somewhere, buy Louis Vuitton, but you know what I mean? I, I think that it's sweet. It's extra special to me that um, these pieces are not only special, but they have a special place um, and a special memory for me. So, um, I'm really glad that I got to share it with you guys. I hope that you are, uh, just as excited for me. And if you have these pieces or if you have experience with the mini pochette, um, or the card holder, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how they keep or wear over time. I've had a couple of requests to do a kind of update for some of the items that I've shown in my previous videos. So I've got those on the books and I'll be working on that soon for you guys. Um, make sure you're subscribed and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me to know what kind of content you like. Um, and now I, that I'm in this setup, I'll be posting more regularly. So make sure you're following me again on Instagram so that you can get the latest updates and connect with me there because I love talking to you guys and I really like communicating and just you know, getting to know you better because I feel like what's great about this community is that it is a community of people who love luxury items and there's so much hatred out there on the internet. It's nice to connect with other people who understand <laughs> why you love the items that you do and why you are luxury obsessed like me. Um, I just really like hearing, I like hearing from you guys. So please follow me there if, if you're not already and leave a comment and um, let me know what you guys think and, and leave suggestions if you want to see something 
if I can film something for you or answer any questions and I'll be sure to do that. But um, thanks for watching and until next time, bye guys.